Are you looking for a subwoofer with balls that won't break your bank? That's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Hey folks, I'm Gene Dallasalo with Audioholics, and I'm happy to do this stream about a new subwoofer that we recently reviewed that is just absolutely amazing. Probably one of the best values today in powered subwoofers. It's the Monoprice Monolith 13 inch THX ported subwoofer. Let me tell you something, guys. When James Larson got in one of these for a review, he was blown away not only by its performance, but its build quality. The fact that this subwoofer is now one of the best performing subs in the Monoprice line, even though it doesn't have the biggest driver, even though we recently reviewed their 15 inch sub last year. This subwoofer actually has more performance in a slightly smaller box with a slightly smaller driver, and I'm gonna show you why. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna show you what this looks like. Now, in my opinion, this is a much better looking sub than their older monolith subs that were just basically a rectangle. This has radius edges on it, it looks much nicer. The finish looks nicer. That driver, that giant surround on that driver is just really sexy. The ports are nice and flared, big ports there. I want to show you, I want to give you first a little bit specs about this driver. This is the driver. This is a beast. Let me tell you a little bit about this driver. So, so this is a true 13 inch diameter moving cone surface. It's not the diameter of the frame. See, most manufacturers, when they quote you the size of the driver, they tend to quote the frame diameter as the driver diameter, and that's not the case. So if you measure most 15 inch drivers from the center surround on each side, um, you get about a 13 and a half, 13 inches, somewhere around there. This is basically equivalent to another manufacturer, a competitor's manufacturer, 15 inch driver. So they're very conservative in how they're rating the size of the cone. This has a triple magnet motor system. And I want to show you that here. You can see the three magnets here. This thing is just massive. I, you know, you could do arm curls with this thing if you're into bodybuilding. So it has two aluminum shorting rings that helps reduce the inductance of the driver so it plays higher in frequency. It's not like a big heavy driver that doesn't play very well past 80 hertz. That's not the case here and I'll show you in the measurements. This has a large cast aluminum basket. It's really intended for a 15 inch cone but the space was needed for the long throw of the surround. So this thing has a really long throw and that's why it gets so much output. So there's a high, this driver is high sensitivity despite the large coil and beefy surround, meaning it can really take use of that power that's applied to it. And you'll see this in the SPL measurements that I'll show you. So the amplifier module on this is actually pretty cool. They couldn't fit one giant two kilowatt amplifier in here. So they used four smaller 500 watt class D amplifiers. Now that it's got the dual voice coils, it could just power it up to all the voice coils and you get about 2000 watts. So you got a lot of power here. Look at the long ports in here and how it's curved in. That's just really awesome. I want to give you a little bit more specs about here. So you have left and right RCA inputs. You got an XLR input and an XLR output. This has, because it's THX certified, you have two EQ modes. You have the THX and extended. The THX EQ mode adheres to the THX mandated frequency response, whereas the extended EQ allows for lower frequency tuning for those that want to get single digit bass in their room. I'll show you some more measurements on that to show you what we mean. The enclosure, again, this is a really beefy subwoofer, very well constructed. It's made out of HDF construction. It's very heavy. So this subwoofer with the driver and it weighs 150 pounds. It's actually heavier than their 15 inch model which is about 130 pounds and a little bit bigger than this. So this, this subwoofer for the 13 inch monolith is a heavily braced interior. It has four panel braces along with corner bracing, three large ports, port plugs included for deeper tuning as well as sealed operation. Though I probably would not recommend you using the sub in sealed. It's just, it, it's got so much of an output capability in the ported mode, really would probably stick with doing that. Um, some performance overviews. So the 20 Hertz extension in THX EQ, 16 Hertz extension in extended EQ, the CEA 2010 burst test. I'm going to show you this in a minute, but it's significantly ga big gains over the monolith 15, at least 3 dB across the entire range. You can get continuous 115 dB output on this in the long-term sweeps at 30 Hertz and above. Extremely low distortion. We measure 2% or less from 20 Hertz all the way to about 95 dB sweep, 
relatively restrained distortion at max levels, and it has very good group delay above 30 hertz. This easily exceeds our 30, uh, I'm sorry, this easily exceeds our basaholic room size rating, extreme rating. That's how good this sub is. So just another picture here. I think I showed you this already. And the grill is really heavy duty. It's just a beautiful sub, magnetic grill, so you don't see any threaded inserts on it. I wanna show you some measurements here. So this is a continuous output sweep. As you see, we hit 115 dB here. Very clean, very linear. Look at the high frequency, uh, the high power sweeps versus the low power sweeps. The frequency response is very uniform. This is great performance. Here's what uh, the THX curve, the EQ all ports open versus the THX sealed. As you see, the all ports open definitely gives you some more bass output below uh, about, about 40 or 50 hertz. That's probably where you'd want to use it in most cases, though if you have a lot of room gain, I guess the THX sealed mode would probably be a, a good option for you as well. So here's the frequency responses without THX mode engaged. You have extended EQ, all ports open in red. You have blue curve, extended EQ, two ports open. And then you have the gold curve, extended EQ sealed. So very, very respectable performance. Look at this below 20 Hertz. And this is a ground plane measurement. This doesn't include room gain. You're getting down below 20 Hertz flat. This is just incredible, very good performance. Here's the group delay measurements. As we said in the past with subwoofer reviews, we like to see it below a cycle and a half, really about a cycle, no more than a cycle because it becomes audible. And this subwoofer maintains that until about down to 20 Hertz or so. So this is very good group delay. This is excellent performance. And this is, you know, the different tuna mode options you have. And then the THX mode, if you want to use that mode, it actually even has lower group delay. So very interesting, uh, very interesting measurements here. So I want to go very briefly over the review with you guys. You know, one thing I'm wondering about is how many of you actually read the Audio Hulk's website or do you just actually go to the uh, YouTube channel and to digest our content? That's what I'm wondering about. So if you can give me some info down below, I appreciate it. And guys, I really ask that you go and you spend the time reading this review. It's on our homepage of audiohulks.com right now. James Larson put a lot of effort into this review. Got some great pictures here of the product. As I said, it's $1,600 retail. It says 1,800 watts RMS, but I think it's closer to 2,000 watts. I know that originally when they came out with the sub, they said 2,000. Then they told James it's about 1,800. So it's, I'm not 100% clear if it's 1,800 or 2,000. Bottom line is this thing exceeded the AudioHulk's Extreme Basaholic room size rating, which is not an easy feat. And it had no problems doing that. Here's the pros and cons here. Excellent fidelity. Very wide dynamic range, serious extension below 20 hertz, heavy duty build quality. The only cons is it's big and heavy and the feet could be better. So they're kind of small feet. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys an introduction to reading this review because there's so much information, so much design detail in this product review. You know, we're kind of wondering because this thing has such great performance, if it could actually hit the THX Dominus spec. We don't exactly know what the spec is for that, but since this thing has more output than the 15 inch model, which has the ultra certification, we're kind of wondering if it could reach that dominant spec. Maybe someone from THX will uh, come in and, and comment on that. So James really liked this uh, product. He gave it a really good review. You could read about all of the, all of the um, listening tests he did here. Here he has this thing. He takes these subwoofers outside on a hot field because you know it's not it's not cool out right now and he sweats it out and he puts it in an open field and he does these measurements for us just, just so we can have the most accurate representation of what this product can do so again we appreciate james's efforts and as you can see here's all the cea 2010 data this is two meter rms ground plane again excellent results this is just unbelievable i mean this kind of output at this price very hard to get so again, the measurements are very linear. And then if you go on Monoprice's website, I wanna show you here's the first, here's the extreme basaholic room size rating. That's our very top rating for subwoofers. And again, here's a beautiful shot of the driver with that big roll surround. So if you go to their website, I um, was just kind of perusing their website before, all the product information is here. You can see it's out of stock already. So it's going to be coming soon. If you guys want to do a pre-order of this subwoofer, I'll put a link in the description. 
but they give you all the design details. You see here, it says 2000 watts, massive output, low distortion, THX, 13 inch driver, but it really is closer to a 15 inch driver. I like the fact that it's a slightly smaller cabinet than their 15. It's a better looking cabinet than their 15. It's got higher performance than their 15, and it only comes for a couple of hundred dollars more. So that's very reasonable. They show you more of the details here. They have their frequency response, five-year replacement warranty, 30-day money-back guarantee, hassle-free packing, service and support. So everything you want in a subwoofer without the expensive price is on this product. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. I love what the brand Monolith is doing. Monoprice is, is really stepping their game up with every generation of new product. They started out with hard hitting subs that just weren't very aesthetically pleasing. Now they come out with the second generation of subs with more performance as if they even needed it. Better aesthetics, better build quality. And their speaker line is really solid as well in their amplification. And they also have a great Atmos 16 channel processor. So watch this brand, guys. Don't just be fooled by the name Monoprice because it's nothing like that. Monolith is a serious audiophile company. They're continuing to evolve their products. And you know what? Give me some comments down below. Do you guys have any Monolith subwoofers? You know, maybe Arnold needs to get a couple of these subwoofers in his house, right? This is the kind of product, if you're a basaholic, you guys are going to love it. So I hope you appreciate this video. Please share it. Please subscribe. Don't forget about our Patreon channel at patreon.com slash audioholics. We appreciate your support. You get direct access to me if you, you want to ask questions or suggest video topics. And until next time, my friends, keep listening.